At its height, the Islamic State held about a third of Syria and 40 percent of Iraq. By 2017, ISIS lost 95 percent of territory, including two big regions, Mosul, Iraq's second largest city, and the northern Syrian city of Raqqa, its nominal capital. But now, with attacks in Russia, Iran and Turkey, the terror group is attempting a comeback. We also take a look at how India, the world's largest democracy, has so far kept uh, the threat at bay. But first, let's take a look at the tactics of the terror group in Asia. After its caliphate collapsed along with its centralized government in Raqqa and Mosul, the group fled to the hinterlands of the two fractured countries, Syria and Iraq. The United Nations says the ISIS 10,000 fighters, although the actual size is hard to quantify. Its fighters are scattered in autonomous cells. Its leadership is clandestine. Iraqi security officials say that the movement has formed sleeper cells that launch hit-and-run attacks. All key foreign fighters fled Iraq for countries like Afghanistan, Syria and Pakistan. Many have joined Islamic State's Khorasan branch that is active along Iran's borders with Afghanistan and Pakistan. The group has been in decline in Yemen. ISIS extremists have carried out a string of attacks on Turkish soil, including a nightclub in Istanbul in 2017 that killed 39 people. Let's now take a look at the presence of ISIS in Africa. In Libya, the group is weaker, having once held territory on the Mediterranean coast. However, it still exploits the country's ongoing conflict. A United Nations report estimated that 800 to 1,200 fighters loyal to the Islamic State in Egypt's Sinai province. In Uganda, militants from Islamic State allied rebel forces have staged attacks. Now, they include a massacre at a boarding school, the murder of a honeymooning couple and a raid on a village that killed three people. The group that started as an uprising in Uganda has moved its operations to neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. Several groups have also pledged allegiance to the Islamic State in West Africa and across the Sahel. Affiliates control areas in rural Mali, Niger and northern Burkina Faso and North Africa. In January of 2023, the U.S. military killed a senior Islamic State leader in northern Somalia. ISIS has so far failed to make significant inroads into India. But over the weekend, a university student who allegedly pledged allegiance to ISIS was detained in Hajo in the Indian state of Assam. Recently, ISIS in India head and an associate were arrested in Assam's Dubri district when they entered from Bangladesh. India's National Investigation Agency suspects the Shivamogha ISIS module for the blast at the Mamashwaram Cafe in Bengaluru. However, cases currently being probed by the investigative agencies are considerably less than most European countries. For latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.